Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can install LibreOffice on your Chromebook or Chromebox. Lately, we've heard in the last couple of weeks that Microsoft will be removing Android apps for its Microsoft Office applications, such as MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Now, that's no major issue because you can just use them programs on their website, office.com, but you will have to pay a subscription fee. So the alternative, if you want cloud-based software, is to use the Google Suites Office software, which is great to use. They've got docs, they've got spreadsheets, they've got a PowerPoint slides program. But if you want to install an Office program locally, so you can it's installed locally rather than using a cloud-based version, the good news is you can do that on a Chromebook and you can do it with LibreOffice. LibreOffice is great. It's, it's made for Linux and it's a really good office. You've got a Word program, a slides type program. You've got a spreadsheet program. You've got a database program as well, which is good because you don't really get that much anymore with Microsoft Office. And you don't get a database program, as far as I'm aware, with Google either. Um, not one which is made for anyone to use as such. So I'll quickly show you how to do it. First of all, you will need to have Linux installed, which you should be able to do, but I will link videos below if you haven't done. And also what I'll do is I'll link a video to how you install a Linux app store, which is very much like a Play Store, because the Linux app store will make it much easier to install these programs. So how I'm gonna be installing them is after I've installed the Linux App Store. So if you haven't yet done that, I would recommend looking at that video below. It's really great, it's really useful. Once you've got a Linux App Store, it makes it so much easier to install Linux apps on your Chromebook, very much similar to how you install Play Store apps on your Chromebook. So let's have a look at how you do it then. So I'll just minimize that. And go to your Start menu, find Linux. We've got Linux apps here. And this is the app store I was talking about. So click on to that. And from here, we can just type in Libra, hit return. And we've got here Libra Impress, Libra Base Writer. So that's the database. That's the, like a PowerPoint slide program, Word program there, and a spreadsheet program. And there's a draw program. There's Math. Math is, is it's it's fine. I think really in the spreadsheet program is going to be more suitable for most people. So let's do the spreadsheet one. So you simply click install there. That's installing. Now it will take a while to install and download because this is being installed locally. So if you if you are upset about not having an Android app for Microsoft Word, which is installed locally, then and if you don't want to use their office.com, but you'd have to pay a subscription. And you not really wanted to use the Google Docs, which I, I personally think are really good, but if not, then use this. So it's just installing now. We just wait for that to install. It shouldn't take too long. Let's go down here, it's in 70%. So I might skip to when it's installed. Okay, so that took about three minutes to install. I skipped it so the video she wasn't sitting there waiting. So it took about three minutes. As you can see now, it's got removed, so that shows it's installed. You can close that down and then go to your start menu or launcher menu. Scroll down and you can see there Linux apps. And there it is there. We don't need to leave it here. We could create a new group. So if you drag that out just like that, Leave that there. Then if you wanted to install the Word program, Libre Office Word program, you could do the same thing. And then you could drag it in there. So you've got an actual program, a selection for just your Libre Office rather than all just in Linux apps. And obviously you can, if you want to, you could pin it to the shelf. So it's easily accessible there as well. So from there, you've got Libre Office down there. So click on, open that up. And it's just opening up on my other display. There we go, drag it across. And that's it, that's the spreadsheet program. As you can see, very similar. Spreadsheet programs essentially, generally speaking, all work the same anyway. And what you will see here is you've got a lot of rows here, which is nice to see, and you've got a lot of columns. So although Google Sheets is, is, is great, if you like to have a local spreadsheet program, 
I would definitely recommend installing LibreOffice on your Chromebook. I've not used LibreOffice, if I'm being honest with you. I think I have done many, many years ago a company that used LibreOffice, but generally speaking, I've not used it. But I'm sure it would be very similar to using Excel or Google Docs. And I will actually make some videos on how to use LibreOffice as well. But yes, that's how you install LibreOffice. As I says, it's really easy and it is installed now locally. Um, so you would have to look at updates. It should tell you when updates are available, but you can always go to, when it comes to updates, you can always go down here, go into Linux apps, go to discover, which is the app store. And here it would check for updates. So applications, let's put in LibreOffice. And it would let you know if there's an update and you click on it. So you have nothing to worry about there. And here as well, you can also remove it that way there as well, if you wanted to remove it. Okay, so that was a really quick video just to show you how to install LibreOffice on your Chromebook. And also just to let you know, it's not the end of the world that MS Word and MS Spread Excel is no longer going to be an Android app. I've never used the Android apps. I used one very quickly today for a video and it was very slow, very slow indeed. So if you, if you want to use a local spreadsheet program, use LibreOffice. If you like the video, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.